Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to yet another editing tutorial. This video will be about transforming an image which is looking warmer color and how you can transform that to cool side. Let's say you have captured an image during sunset time and the entire the tone itself is very warmish and how you can transform that to as if you have captured during sunrise time. So during dawn period, the entire mood will be different and that's how you can change the mood using Adobe's Lightroom on your smartphone itself. If you like these kind of videos, hit that like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And let me know in the comment section down below what editing tutorial would you like to see next. Alright guys, without wasting any more time, let's deep dive into the editing tutorial of this image. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the Adobe Lightroom. I have just opened the image and everything is reset. Now I'll start editing. The first basic thing that you want to do is edit the basic exposure. Now what does that mean? As you can see, there are all the tools over here on the right hand side. I'm in the landscape mode here. The first thing we are going to do is to adjust the exposure contrast highlights. Now as you can see, uh, the image itself is quite clear here. There is I think not really much uh, tuning necessary, but still they are going to reduce a bit of contrast to make that kind of faded look. That's what it is trending these days. Okay, so I have uh, reduced the contrast to minus seven. Next, I will just boost the highlight just a little bit to make these, you know, whites more white. And let's boost the shadows quite a bit, like say 20. And we are going to change the white to like 11. Let's make white a little pure white because we are making this on the cooler side, the picture itself and slightly we will change the black to plus two so that it looks quite faded and not too contrasty. So okay, now only subtle changes have made just to see what we have changed. This was the before and this is the after image. Uh, now on the camera it may not look so much drastic changes. As you go through the video you will see how it changes. The next important thing is to change the white balance. Now we are in white balance here, but before we change the temperature and tint, because this is very important, we have to make the image look cooler. So what we will first do is change the mix, like what colors you are seeing here, if you adjust the hue, saturation and luminance, the same affects the particular color. So the first thing is uh, red, as you can see there are a lot of red colors involved here. So what I will do is change the hue to like minus 40, minus 50, okay. So as you can see how the mood itself is started to change. Again we will boost the saturation of that particular color and then reduce the luminance so that it becomes little dark. The reds become little dark as you can see how the color affected the image. As you can see this was on the warmer orange side now we have changed it to red and we are making that to cooler temperature as you go through the video. The next one is orange like I will just boost the orange to 23 so that I will uh, change it to slight yellowish color. As you can see the number if I reduce here if I reduce the hue it becomes darker orange if I increase the hue it goes to the yellow to green. Similarly we will just reduce the saturation because we don't want to make it look really yellowish that becomes really odd. Again I will just reduce the luminance quite a bit. Next we will move to yellow color. Now here I will reduce the hue to like minus 15 and just reduce the saturation to again minus 20 or minus 30 as such and slightly increase the luminance so that it becomes bright. As you can see how the image is turning out before image this was the before and this is the after where we have arrived and there is not really much green over here so we will just leave it at that next up is this aqua is what we call we will reduce this one to like minus 50 minus 60 reduce the saturation slightly and then increase the luminance quite a bit the next one is blue this is very dominant color here on the sky like how we want to uh, make that one look we will reduce this one and make a little bit on the teal side that's what it is trending these days okay boost the saturation uh, make it more prominent and then slightly reduce the luminance to make it dark now again as you can see this is the before image very warm looking and we have transformed that slightly next one is we will reduce the hue like minus 37 reduce the luminance boost the saturation to 17 so we will leave this color as it is now once we have finished that just tap on done 
now the most important aspect here is changing the white balance to change the entire scene like how you want the temperature to look exactly that's how it is going to look in the image if it is like warm or cool side so the first thing temperature as we are making this image to look on the cooler side so we will reduce it to make it look cool not too much like let's say minus 28 as you can see the entire scenario is changed so we will just increase the tint to make it magenta -ish, slightly like this up to say 28 we will leave the vibrance and saturation as it is there are slight changes we have to make still like let's move on to this vignetting where we have to increase the clarity we will boost the clarity uh, slightly increase the dehaze to like uh, 10 or 15 slightly not too much again vignetting and we are focusing on the subject slight changes increase the feather increase the roundness all right so we have arrived here yeah that's it i think it's already looking pretty cool as you can see uh, this was the before image and this is the after image where we have arrived. Now if you want to buy my presets the link is in the description section of this video. So you can apply these presets with just one tap you are going to get this actual look. So guys you can make a lot of changes with uh, a lot of tools that's uh, on the Adobe Lightroom. So this is where we have arrived from before to after. So if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to click on that subscribe button, like and share this video with your friends. And I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.